Hey there, this is Stacy. Hope everyone's having a great day. I thought I'd come on here today and show you my shopping haul. I met Christine Pink Sparkalicious 27 at the Galleria in Dallas. She works at the Nordstrom there, so she was kind of my personal shopper when I went there today. And uh, I'm gonna show you the things that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the jewelry that I got. And the first thing is a watch. I've been wanting a watch that has some gold on it. And this Michael Kors one is one that my friend has. And I've been eyeballing it for quite some time. I actually asked for it for Christmas and didn't get it. So I went and bought it today. So it just looks like this. Just a nice two-tone watch. So it has the um, gold on it and the silver together. So now I can wear my gold jewelry and my watch at the same time and actually know what time it is. Um, I'm kind of a freak about that kind of stuff and have to have my gold jewelry has to have a gold watch to go with it. Kind of weird, I know. Then I got a ring set and this is it here. And it's from Ariella Collections and it was $68. Just a cute stacked ring set. So this is actually six separate little rings um, and two of them kind of have the stones on top and the others just have cute little stones on them. So anyway, I got that and I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing that a lot. Then I got a pair of earrings. They're Kate Spade that look like this. They're just cute little post earrings that have these kind of big crystals on them. So those are kind of fun. And that was um, $48. That was the jewelry that I got. Then I started at the NARS counter. Christine had told me about this new NARS product. It's their makeup removing water. Looks like this. It's a pretty good size bottle. It is 6.7 ounces, so that's a pretty good size. And I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to test it out and see how it compares to the Bioderma. It doesn't really have a fragrance. Or if it does, it's really, really light. I can't really smell much there, but um, that's what it looks like, and it has in it, um, it's infused with cucumber, chamomile, and hy hyaluronic acid. Makeup removing water. It says it leaves skin feeling soft, soft, soothed, and refreshed. So I'll let you know what I think of that. It just says to saturate a cotton pad and gently sweep it over the face to remove makeup. So I'll let you know how that goes. And that was $28, which is a pretty good deal for that. That's a lot of quantity there. I mean, it's not as good maybe as a drugstore as far as um, price-wise, but never know. I'll let you know how that goes. Then the other product that I got from NARS, I've swatched it on my hand here. It's one of their new, I believe, limited edition eyeshadows for spring here, and the color is called Lhasa. And I swatched it on my hand here. You can kind of see it. And it's just sort of one of those taupey purple, purpley gray type of colors. It's just a beautiful color. Here it is on my finger. It kind of has a bit of that sheen to it. You know, it's not flat, it's not sparkly, it's just got a sheen. So again, it's right, it's got a bunch there that time, um, just there in my hand. So that's what I got from NARS. Then I got from MAC, just a black track, fluid line, black track. Yeah, fluid line eyeliner gel. I have, don't have one of these. Um, I've tried Bobbi Brown ones and then that Maybelline one, and I just thought I would try it in the MAC brand. It's just a real um, kind of creamy type formula. I thought that would work well for my winged eyeliner practice. Then my next products are from Clinique, and the first one is one of their new quick liners, and it's just called um, Intense Ivy number 07. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it's just an olive green color. It has the retractable pen on the one side, pen or pencil. And then the other side is just one of those like spongy type smudgers. And I put it on my hand right here. And it's a pretty olive green color. The next product is a lip product from Clinique. And it is called Oh, it's an almost lipstick and it's the chic honey color now I do have it on now but I don't I want to say it's not the color you're seeing on my lips I put I wanted just a clear gloss over it to kind of give it a little bit more shine and I just grabbed that physicians formula one that has that pH color changing effect to it so my lips are really kind of really hot pink right now so they're not like this um, this is the kind of applicator that it is it's kind of like that black honey that's the most popular one from Clinique and um, I put it here on my hand. It's more of like a berry type color. 
so it's not quite as intense as what's um, going on on my lips right here. They're kind of wild and crazy right now. Then the last product that I got from Clinique is an SPF. It's the Super City Block, and it's an SPF of 40. And it was just a really nice formula. It felt really good on, and it, um, when I kind of put it on, I felt like it would be good for putting makeup over still. And um, it actually has a slight tint to it. It's not white, it's more of a light creamy color, but of course when you rub it in, it's pretty much just a clear, um, you know, it just absorbs into your skin. So it's just here in my hand. It has a tiny bit of a fragrance to it, nothing offensive at all. And it does have the zinc oxide and the titanium dioxide in it, which are physical blockers to the sun. And that is why I like to have those products in my sunscreen. And again, as my reminder, everybody should be wearing their sunscreen all the time. Rain, shine, snow, whatever. Sunscreen to avoid skin cancer. Very, very important. And then also protection so you don't get all this aging on your face like I have. Then the last thing I got, um, Christine had gotten this for me there in the Clinique area. And it was one of their recent giveaways. They had a couple extras, so she got one for me with my Clinique purchase. And it's just got this cute little makeup bag. Good size for travel. And I will show you what came in there. And the first thing is just a Clinique... Um, set of shadows, sorry. Just some nice pretty neutral colors with that green that I've really been experimenting with lately. There's a lip gloss in Apricot and it's the Super Ball Moisturizing Gloss. A mascara, the High Impact Mascara. Let's see, I haven't opened it yet. Curious to see what the brush looks like. I'm always curious for that. That's a pretty nice brush. And there's a lipstick in the color Tender Heart. I feel like I might have, might have this. No, maybe not. I have that product from Very Sensual that I love, that Bare Minerals eyeshadow that's Tender Heart also. That's funny. Probably every company has a color called Tender Heart or a product that they call that. Then there's a seven day scrub cream. And then, lo and behold, we always get a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I think in probably every freebie that they do, I think this is like probably their most popular product aside from that uh, Black Honey lipstick that they have. So anyway, that's everything that I got there in my haul. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.